Good morning, I'm Justin Buckholz here at EPR Truck Center in McDonald, Georgia. Today we're going to show you in great detail how to install an ISX-15 piston and liner kit. The correct way. So, so stay with us. Uh, we've got our, our cylinder liner here, connecting rod clean and inspected. Our rod bearing, genuine piston kit. Our two shims, we're going to talk about these here in a minute. Before we get started, I do want to have a little shop talk. Uh, about our felt components. As you can see, we've got our head gasket to come off this engine. And I wanted to show you right there on number five cylinder. Typically on the passenger side, the fire ring is blown. And uh, we're gonna talk more about that as well. So stay tuned if you like this video. Please like and subscribe. I'm, I'm told that we just surpassed our uh, 200 subscribers. That's, that's very, very awesome. We're excited about it. We want to continue putting these videos out there. Thank you. All right, up to this point, we have installed cylinders one, three, four, and five. I've left number two out for filming purposes. I wanted to show you where we've had this block counterboard professionally right here in our shop. This is probably the most important step on in frame building really any engine across the board. Uh, Cat, Cummins, Detroit. If this step gets skipped, uh, a lot of times the customer is going to have head gasket issues from here on out. So, like I said, we've counterboard this block right down in here. They have cut this cylinder block. 20 thousandths. So now we've got a fresh cut block and now we're going to install our shims and get ready to install this liner. Uh, I've removed our dust cover. Always put these little plugs in your block. This protects the oil galleys in the blocks from any debris or metal. Uh, they do come in your Cummins head gasket kit. Pretty, pretty useful little tool. So let's get them started installing these shims and eventually the, the cylinder liner. All right, here's our two shims. I'm gonna explain what we're doing here. The first shim is a 20,000th shim. This is to compensate for the machine work that was done on the block. So this is gonna get the liner back to factory height. And as you know, a Cummins also uses a 32,000th shim that, that goes with it. So we're gonna stack these shims on top of one another and just simply put them in the hole Make sure everything's nice and clean. Make sure they're seated in properly. And now we're ready to install our cylinder liner. All right, we have our cylinder liner here. We've already installed the liner O-ring. It is lubricated up. Let's install it. You want to push it in with your hand as far as it'll go. And then I'm going to show you how to, how to use the tool we have to press it on down. All right, here we have a simple lever and a, and a fulcrum point. You just use a head bolt to thread into the block and simply uh, just simply press it down. Should go nice and easy. You don't want any resistance. Alright, up to this point you can see we've got all six liners in. We've also installed our main bearings. They are in, torqued, and turned. Our crankshaft is cleaned and inspected. So now we're ready to install our pistons. Uh, today we are only going to to show one just for video purposes. Thank you. Before we install this piston, I wanted to show you some special tools you have to have to install a, a piston correctly in this ISX-15. Uh, recently, Cummins has updated their liners. They they use a they call it a anti-carbon ring or anti-polishing ring. Uh, it's in this. In this box right here it actually is inserted into the liner right here 
after the piston is installed. So in order to install the piston without damaging this lip right here, there's a common special tool. It's a part number of a 529-9339. You have to have this tool to install the piston into the cylinder. And like I said, just slide it in just like that. So now we're ready to put our, our ring squeezer. That's an Apex Tool Company. I believe a five and a half inch bore. But we're gonna put that around our piston rings and install this piston. We are ready to install this piston in number two cylinder. Uh, as you can see, we have our connecting rod and piston assembly together with the ring squeezer. I want to introduce you to Skeeter Doran III. He's been here with us for nearly five years now at ETR Truck Center. And uh, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and install this piston in number two. He's got the connecting rod bearing in the rod. It is lubricated with a Lucas oil assembly. The crankshaft is down on, on number two and five. And we're just gonna lightly drop it in the hole. Uh, the piston does have a, an arrow on top of it that points to the front. It's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty cut and dry. So as you see, it don't take much to, to drop it down in there. And now, Skeeter, if you don't mind, yep, remove that and uh, we're gonna install the anti-polishing ring next. This is the last step on the top side. We're gonna install the anti-polishing ring into the liner and then repeat steps all the way through one, three, four, five, and six. Um, obviously the next step, there's some work on the bottom end. We're not gonna show that today, but we're you install the rod cap and the bolts and there is a, a torque and turn procedure. This concludes our ISX piston and liner install. Uh, we want to thank y'all once again for watching. If you enjoy these videos or find them uh, helpful in any way, just like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. And thank you again for watching.